Hello and welcome back to We Buy Any Motor Caravan. Today I am rather excited about this because I've recently fallen in love with Cathargo. It is a Cathargo Chic I-51. This is a 2008 on a 58 plate. It is absolutely beautiful. The condition of it is absolutely spot on. As you can see, it is a twin rear axle motorhome. It is built on the Fiat Ducato 3 litre 160 brake horsepower. This one does have the upgraded chassis, which makes good use of that big garage. As you can see on the side, we have a nice long Omnister awning, bus mirrors as well. These are heated. Electric step just down below. Coming up with the first locker, we have storage and a gas point on the right. Next up, cassette toilet. There is a spare one of these in the rear also. Then down to the big serious business is that nice big garage with access from both sides. Now it does go quite deep into it as well. We do have a shower point as well as two 40 volt and 12 volt sockets and different little shelves and there's your spare cassette toilet. We also do have a light. On the rear itself, we have twin reversing cameras up top and on onto the near side. We can just see on top, we have the satellite dish and Dometic habitation aircon. At the rear, we do have the extra garage door. Next up in terms of lockers, is basically just a locker. We do have the awning winder in there also. Carpets for the inside. We tend not to put them down just because of this time of year with the uh, wet and windy weather. Gas low locker. So it does have the LPG gas and electric point. And zooming back, you can really see it is a beautiful, clean motorhome. Chic written on the front. Now this is a very rare motorhome, which, I'll show, which I shall show you on the inside, because there are several different layouts of this. And there are your water drains. Inside this stunning Cathargo Chic i51, most of the time when we do videos and photos, the fo they, they make the motorhome look better. In this instance, it's the complete other way around. I cannot show you on film or photo how nice this lighting and motorhome in condition is. Starting above the door itself, we have those beautiful Cathargo three dials with the with the silver around the outside aldi wet heating system controls with the cathargo controls as well the lounge itself it is a half dinette we have a cupboard door or a cupboard above the single side facing bench seat this does have the pop-up tv as well on the opposite side of the lounge, as I'm sure you've already noticed, it is all in cream leather as well, which really sets it off with the lighting. Two forward facing seats with belts, with it being a four berth and four belted motorhome. Three cupboards above this area, and a nice round table. The passenger and driver seat, I do believe will swivel around to join this area as well. Drew the heater controls, on the passenger seat. The cab itself, nice, nicely specced indeed. I mean, it's got everything from a removable steering wheel, cruise control, cab air conditioning. It does have 
cab blinds, reversing camera, Parrot Bluetooth kit, heated uh, bus mirrors, electric step control, electric window control. Just below this we have the adjustable air suspension, cupboard next to this area as well as uh, electric sockets. And then on the passenger side we do have the door which can be a bit of a rarity in an A-class motorhome. The kitchen itself, again with all that lighting, you just so many little spotlights all the way around, as well as the LED strips. Oven grill above a nice big 142 litre fridge, which is plenty big enough for something of this size. It's about as big as you'll really get. The kitchen looks absolutely beautiful with the white drawers and black worktops, especially with the wood. Something you don't see very often in a motorhome like this is that coffee machine. It's on some of the newer, a lot, a lot of the newer Cathargos, but not so many of the old ones. We've got the sink, three hob burner, and a couple of cupboards in white to match the rest of the kitchen and we also have a tea towel holder or a kitchen roll holder. Continuing into the back we have the double wardrobes, nice and big nearly full length well, the only bit of the full length you're missing is that bottom cupboard. Now the rare thing about this motorhome in particular and something I really like about this motorhome, most of them come with transverse rear beds. So they go all the way across the rear and it's just one big double bed. However, the problem with the transverse rear double beds is, is when you need to get up, you need to climb over one another just to get out. Now with the two single beds at the rear with that cushion that goes into the middle to join the two, you don't have to do that. It's low enough with this first step to be able to take you up so you can just sit down on the bed. Lots of storage above, including the stereo system that goes all the way through the motorhome. And then on the offside, we do have a TV with electrical socket and aerial above. Something I just want to point out on this as well, it does have carpeted ceilings and walls throughout. Makes it look really plush. It'll keep it warm when it's cold as well. Above the kitchen, the habitation aircon, and also near the kitchen area, which I'll just get into now, is the bathroom itself. Cassette toilet, storage cupboards just below the sink, even more storage cupboards in the mirror. You have got two 40 volt and 12 volt sockets in this area as well, and then a nice spacious and wide separate shower. Something I do like about these is we also have stood in it, that's why it's not owning the other access to the water tank there. Access to the other water tank here. These water tanks are 115 litres on board and then the final is the release valves to empty the water out. There are two other cupboards or underfloor storage in the lounge itself goes through to the uh, oh, well, all the electricity boards and switch, uh, fuse boards and everything like that And then the last one is just some nice storage, which goes under the table itself. All in all, this is a beautiful motorhome. The only last thing to show you is the drop down double bed. If you just give me some patience with this. That's this one of the seat belts, I only did one up. But this does drop all the way down and it does end up to be, when the driver and passenger seat are folded down, to be a one big low double bed. 
and that about does it all. This motorhome comes in at 7.78 meters in length, 2.27 meters in width and just under three meters in height. It has got the uprated chassis to around five ton as well, but I'll confirm in the description below. Tons of extras, awning, electric step, gas low system, twin reversing camera, habitation aircon, satellite dish, two TVs, electric heat and mirrors, cruise control, cab air conditioning, parrot Bluetooth kit, re twin reversing camera, adjustable air suspension, removable steering wheel, coffee machine, cream leather, what else do you want in a motorhome? If you do have any uh, questions on this motorhome or if you've got a motorhome to sell, just like this, give us a call on 01283 240 237. Visit webuyanymotorcaravan.com and please, even if you don't want to, hit that nice big subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube screen and don't forget to like our Facebook page. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.